Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And I just found this game uh, called Forager over the weekend and it sucked me right in. Uh, I was playing it kind of non-stop for many, many hours. I couldn't I couldn't stop, it's so addictive. I saw it on uh, another YouTuber's channel, uh, Catherine of Sky. She does, uh, she's like a Factorio wizard and she picked up this game. Now it's, this is, I'm playing a demo here. So the real game isn't out yet, but the demo is pretty, well polished, there's quite a few things you can do. And I'm going to be doing a separate video on kind of starting out, but this video is going to be about kind of the end game stuff. And I wanted to show off all the skills that you can get. So that's one of the first things I'm going to do. But first I'm going to check my market here. It's where you sell things. Maybe I'll start with this because there's things available. So every five minutes you get new items in here. And normally you only get to a selection of four items, but there's a certain skill that opens up even more. And a really good way to power level while following the rules is to uh, buy things like sapphires, which cost about 60. And you can sell them back for about 57. Um, I think all the gems are worth about 57, 56. So you can buy one at a time. It's good to have a pool of money for this. Or you can shift click to buy half of them. Or you can control click to buy them all. And I'm just going to buy almost everything in the market. Because you can sell it back. Let's get some emeralds, 31 emeralds. There's something up top there. Sometimes the UI is a little off screen. Let's, uh, let's go back in there. What's up top? Oh, more sapphires. Buy all those. So it's good to keep a pool of money of around, I'd say 6,000, 7,000 to do this. So we'll hover over a bunch of these emeralds and then you can sell them one at a time. And you sell things by selecting the item, either with the mouse wheel or you could click on it. And then you actually just throw it in using left mouse button. And you get your, I think it's 57 coins. Now, you can do one at a time like this and you can see my experience bar going up. I'm at level 49, so leveling's a bit slower. But if you control shift click, it'll sell half of them. And it's actually quite loud when you have the sound turned up, and I'll turn the sound down a bit. And then control click, we'll sell them all. And the game gets really laggy when you do this. If you try to sell like 20 at a time, I'll just show you what that looks like. So we got uh, 33, okay, 48, um, what are these, sapphires. Let's get down to 40, and then I'll sell 20 and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Now, if your computer's faster, maybe this will be better, but... Check this out. I'm going to sell half of them. So this is going to really go slow, but... <laughs> Pretty laggy. But you can see my experience bar went up quite a bit there. So this is a really good way to power level. And every five minutes, you'll get new items in the market here that you can sell. Like I said, you can buy other things as well. Great way to power level though. So I won't actually sell them all right now. But I do want to show you all the skills. So if you hit escape under equipment, which is actually kind of your skills. Now I've unlocked, well, I've uh, revealed every single skill here. And I haven't actually uh, had enough levels to unlock them all, but a lot of them you can't actually, they're not implemented in the demo. So they wouldn't actually do anything good. But I'm going to show some really key ones that you should get. Uh, let's see here. Mass production is really good. Structures have a 15% chance to craft double items. Engineering is really good. Structures work 30% faster. What else do we have here? That one's not unimplemented. Automation's good. So anything that your, uh, your furnaces and anvils are making automatically get collected. So they'll kind of warp, warp over to you. Trade is good because you get experience while you sell items. So that's how I was getting a bunch of experience by selling gems. Supply uh, lets you uh, buy more items. Uh, commodities, items crafted at furnaces sell for 30% more, which is really good. Taxation, uh, items you sell are worth 25% more. That's a huge one. Now banking, grant, grants one coin per minute. That is actually in endgame, that's kind of useless, but it's 
it opens up the way to these some of these better ones. Gem trade can sell gems. That's kind of key. Transmutation. So when when you're uh, doing ingots in your furnace, you get a 15% chance to to make a gem instead of an ingot, and that's a huge, huge one. That'll be a really good money maker for you mid game. Prospecting is also a good. 10% increased chance of finding gems while mining. Now some of these are kind of combat related and potion related. Uh, I'll go all I'll go over all of them in a sec here, but some of the cool ones. Uh, resolve, gain 30% more XP, and heal when you level up. Now gain 30% more XP. Uh, I'm not sure how that actually ties in. Like whether it's uh, only when you level or like a bonus, or, I'm not quite sure. Tactics, gain 20% more EXP. I don't know if this is just a blanket one or only during combat, which isn't really implemented. Alacrity, this one is one of the best. So I suggest you get this one pretty early on. Move and attack 50% faster. So you can go around and collect things way faster. And attack also means like hitting trees and stuff. So you'll speed up a whole lot from that. Uh, what else do we got here? Cooking's pretty good. Um, but there's one, gluttony. This one's awesome. Gain experience when eating. Pretty huge if you want to level up really quickly. And then up here, something near the center. You start off near the center here. Building is going to be one of your first ones. Uh, coinage. This one's pretty awesome. You get an extra two coins when you when you're forging coins. Uh, what else here? Magic's not implemented. So I'll just quickly go over. I'll put a timing point in the description for this so you can jump ahead. But this will probably take a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna quickly go over every single skill just so you can see what they do. Uh, make sure to pause the video if you need to. But I'm gonna go pretty quick here. Just so you can see what they all are. So it was not exciting. Uh, I forgot to mention when I was pointing out some of the really good ones down here in the bottom left is some, or bottom is some really good ones as well. Lumberjacking gain 30% more wood from trees. Uh, reforestation, trees grow and spawn twice as fast. And agriculture, if you're growing farms, uh, which I don't really recommend, but if you do, farms grow 40% faster. So those are some of the better ones. Blacksmithing is actually pretty good. Furnaces and forges are 20% faster. 
mining, uh, rocks drop 25% more minerals, pretty awesome. And geology, all rocks drop coal, which will help you out a lot. So that's all the skills. Now this game, I think it was made during like a, a gaming uh, competition that only lasted two weeks. Game jam kind of thing. Um, I'll put more about this in the description, but the uh, pretty impressive game for two weeks worth of work. Even though it's not fully implemented and there are some bugs, but they're pretty minor. I'll kind of take you around. I've unlocked a lot of the areas and you can kind of see the speed up in terms of mining and stuff. So it only takes like, I think trees take three hits or four hits. You get a lot of logs with all those upgrades. Now there's a special thing, there's a special island that you unlock up here with these three things. And I have it set right now to um, more experience when you're logging or cutting down trees. You can actually get a decent amount of experience just with this turned on, just uh, foraging stuff, hence the name of the game. But if we turn this one on, learn faster when mining, uh, it's actually, if you watch the experience go up, it's a pretty good bonus. Now at level 49, it's not as impressive because it takes even more experience for every single level. But you can level up pretty quickly this way as well. The best way though, like I said, is buying gems and reselling them. You lose a tiny bit of money for each time you do that, but you can easily make money back selling stuff you collect and gems that you get from ingots and that sort of stuff. But always make sure you have a buffer of like five 5,000 coins so that you can keep doing it as you level up. Now the land gets really, really expensive. I've already unlocked a lot of it, but let's uh, let's go over here. So we under buy land, 29,000, 49,000. I think this is the most expensive tile that I have right now. Some of them down here, 28,000, 26,000. And what I did for this playthrough was I bought the most expensive piece of land uh, every time, except for the very last one, because it started to get way too expensive. What do we got down here in terms of land prices? 18,000, 31, 19. So this is the cheapest one, I think. Yeah, 18,000. So to unlock all the land, you're gonna have to make a pile of money, ton of money. So that would require, I don't know how many hours of gameplay, but quite a bit. Now, certain things you buy from the market sometimes are profitable. Like these bricks, I think they sell for, uh, I forgot how much, maybe seven. You can buy them for cheaper than that if you have a... Uh... Well, we can't buy them right now, but certain items um, you can sell for more than you buy. So that's a really good way to make money as well, but you can't buy them in huge quantities like the gems. Now make sure when you're out and getting wood and stuff that you don't uh, starve to death because then you'll start losing your health. I almost did that once. Bread's a really good way to refuel your health. And you also, with that perk, you get experience when you eat. Not a whole lot, but every bit counts. So maybe I'll level up to level 50 here just to show you how slow or how fast it goes. The music kind of cuts out when you're... Uh, when, you, when there's too many sounds being generated and the game does get slow. Let's do something crazy. Let's sell, uh, we've got 981 rocks. Let's sell half of them and see what happens to the game. Here we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How to break the game. Actually, that wasn't too bad. What else we can sell here? Sell half of those. I do half at a time just because it's otherwise the game just locks up completely. If you sell like 50 gems in one go, your game will probably crash. Now, one other thing you don't want to do is if you're close to a leveling, don't sell a bunch of gems at once because you, the experience doesn't carry over. So you want to get it as close to the edge as possible and then maybe sell uh, some cheaper stuff until you're, you level up. But if you're near the end and you sell like, you know, a ton of stuff, you're gonna be wasting 
wasting experience. So bricks, they sell for five. So it's worthwhile buying them. And they sell for, yeah, they sell for seven. So you get a little bit of profit there. And keys are also a good thing to buy and sell just to make, uh, make experience. This would be a good screenshot moment. Uh, there's a special kind of, not a hidden key, but if you control mouse wheel, you can zoom out a bit, which is kind of nice. So there we go. Let's, uh, let's do some massive selling here. Uh, one other tip that you might that might help you out is if there's a lot of stuff lay, uh, on the ground uh, that you've cut down or whatever, um, it will slow the game down big time. So to kind of get rid of items you don't want, you can sell them or you can kind of just t t like throw them in the ocean and that gets them out of the way until you actually need them. So here we go, pretty close to level 50. So as you can see, I, I oversold a bunch of stuff and I'll level up, but I won't get any residu any extra experience. Level 50, yay. And you're forced to unlock something. So even though they have no, there's these aren't implemented yet, but we'll just unlock it. And we're done. So those are the tips uh, for power leveling and getting uh, getting up there. You can also plant wheat and plant trees and cut them down to get experience, which is a pretty good way. But I find this is the fastest fastest way. And I do want to unlock all the land. I'll probably keep plugging away, but I think things will just get so ridiculously expensive that I won't be able to do it. But I haven't discovered all the stuff on the land. And some land pieces have like little puzzles and stuff. So I do want to be able to see them all. Sometimes stuff gets in the way here. I built a second market up here if I'm ever over in this side of the map and I want to be able to sell stuff. Just take you on a little tour here. I built a lot of bridges just to make it easier to walk around. So super fun game. Um, I'm cutting down my berry bushes on purpose just so I can get through here. Maybe I'll show some of the other stuff here quickly. All the things I can build. We got a furnace. We got a forge. A windmill. Bridges. Fish traps are pretty cool. But I destroyed them all because I thought they were lagging the game. And then the market. And a generator. Uh, which makes your forges operate faster. And your anvils. And then a mining rod. I haven't actually set any up. Because they uh, they kind of lag the game, and I want the experience for chopping things down. But if you build a mining rod, which I probably cannot do because I don't have any steel, it automatically farms trees and and minerals, and then you just have to go by and pick things up. But because things on the ground slow the game down, I actually don't do that, and you don't need you don't get any experience when when the mining rod actually does the mining or chopping for you. So I don't bother with those. I'll show, show, uh, quickly show you what you can do in the mill. You can make a uh, wheat seed, which you can plant and grow wheat. You can uh, plant baby trees with these tree saplings, which take fruit from the trees that you cut down. And animal feed, you can feed to chickens. It makes them happy. I think they make eggs more often. Here's some wheat that's been grown. So I have a scythe here, which lets you cut down four at a time. And then you get wheat, which you can turn into... Actually, I don't think you can turn it into bread. I think you're supposed to be able to, but let's just see here. Oh yeah, I can. You can make bread out of wheat. Bread's, I think, the best food in the game. It's worthwhile buying bread at the market as well. But I'll save this for kind of an intro tutorial to the game. This is more... just wanted to quickly show you all the stuff. All the power leveling and late game stuff. 
here's some of the stuff you can make uh the anvil stuff you can make at the anvil coins keys bottles bottles you can actually fill up with water and you can make ingots it's worthwhile making these ingots uh because well you need them but you can also get gems as they're being made with that perk i showed you earlier Keys uh, you use for golden chests that you find. They're pretty rare, but each time you open a golden chest, you get an extra heart health bar here, which uh, lets you live longer. And I'm assuming would be used for combat if you had combat, but it's not implemented yet. So I'm really looking forward to when this game comes out for real. I'm going to be playing it a lot because uh, I got hooked on the demo here. So hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.